first of all, James, game on Tuesday night was good in so many ways for the team and a really good confidence boost going ahead of Saturday. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I thought the Japanese players, certainly that first 20 minutes, I think guys were caught a little bit off guard with uh, with just their, their physicality, their directness and, and the speed of ball that they were generating. You know, one side normally would try and get a quick um, phase, maybe two phases, whatever. They were sort of 10, 12, 13 phases of just round the corner, running a million miles an hour and and, uh, and yeah, you know, the guys, I think um, Paul Moriarty was saying that we put in about 200 off, odd tackles on the weekend, on Tuesday, which is, which is a huge amount. But, uh, but yeah, ultimately, when we did get ball in hand, you know, we got some tries and, and as you pointed out then, you know, it is a good confidence booster. And uh, players playing with a smile on their face, which is really good to see. Yeah, exactly. You know, we, we haven't had that for a little bit really and there's no pressure. It's a, it's a friendly game. Uh, we didn't go out there... Um, or bouncing around, you know, the change room was as serious as normal, but it makes a world of difference. You get a few points on the board. You know, this season we've predominantly been losing matches and then having to claw our way back into it. Um, to get a few points ahead is, is a nice relief. And, and as you say, there was a few more smiles on faces and, and, um, and, you know, some decent rugby played here and there. And it was a particularly open game as well, so you look like you're really enjoying that, plenty of chances with ball in hand. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's the type of game that, because of the speed that they were bringing to it, we wanted, you know, we normally pride ourselves on our intensity and, and, and want to play with that high tempo. Uh, their tempo is probably better than ours because then, I don't know why, they were super duper fit. Um, but, uh, I can't really have said super duper. They were super <laughs> fit, but, um, but yeah, you know, it was, it was nice to get that ball in hand in space as well. Yeah, first trial of the season for you as well, that's nice to... Take yeah. Off, kick off from that. Yeah, exactly. Um, obviously, I haven't been scoring at all, really. But I'm I'm not overly concerned with that. The way I like to play, I like to quite um, I quite like to distribute and, and get involved. Uh, if it's creating, then it's just good for me. But as you pointed out, it is always nice to dot the ball down as well. It shows in that how to. Um, Newcastle on Saturday will be a really huge challenge. But obviously, after Tuesday, one that the squad will really look forward to getting out on pitch again. Yeah, exactly. At the moment, it's about getting the uh, the turnaround right. We're still part recovery and part focus on Newcastle. Um, so try and get bodies back on the on the training paddock. We've got team run tomorrow. Um, just make sure that you're feeling in a good place. You know, guys getting massages and uh, stretching, doing all the right stuff, and then mentally make sure that on Saturday, you know, they'll be coming down here, throwing the ball around, not being too afraid of of having a go. And we've just got to make sure that we're ready for that. See some partnerships being built up in the back line from yourself. Now the, the, the forwards gave a really good platform on Tuesday. Now hoping for more of the same. Yeah, exactly. You know that, that's the thing. This season there's been a lot of talk about the scrum and you know not being able to just get the ball in and out. And I thought Tuesday night we did get a lot of, of opportunities where the ball did get sat at the base, quite solid. And uh, and then you can try and throw a strike play at them because for backs a lot of the time that's your best platform is a, a good solid scrum. And it's been a bit hit and miss this season, but. Um, but yeah, Tuesday was good, so hopefully the same Saturday. Awesome, Saturday, Monday, dude, running at Cheltenham. Are you doing any rain dances, getting ready for that one? We have been, we have been, and uh, and then obviously um, talking to Nicky Robinson, who's down at Bristol, he's been continually rain dancing. Um, there's been a lot of rain the last couple of weeks, but the drainage is so good at Cheltenham that I think it's still going to be called good to soft. So um, we wanted soft ground, maybe heavy, but uh, I'll get a chance to watch that at home. I think it's about one thirty, one fifty as race. And then, um, and then down to King's End for the game at Forish. Thanks for your time. Thank you.